Well, today we'd like to introduce you to our new aquaponics system. That is a 180 gallon fish tank there. It's about three and a half feet wide, five feet long, 24 inches high off the ground. This is the bricking system we use. We take treating them like Lego toys. Uh, they're mounted up here. You see here eight by eight bricks, they're pointed. We use T boards on there. That's a two by six or two by six on the bottom, uh, screwed together in T method. Uh, when you start off with this system, you get the fish tank that you see here. You get the cinder bed that's straight in front of you with those four stacks of brick. You get the air siphon here that you see here pumping up and going up to there and that's your air vent. You get the bucket siphon that you see there and you get the first float bed, the one right here that has the wood on the top, okay? So you get that. So fish tank, cinder bed, bucket siphon, float bed, and water return to there. Now, when you're ready to add on, it's really simple. These are the boards on half the brick. So you just simply add on a 10 foot two by six coming to here and you add on three more trays. On this side over here, you simply add on the board there on the half brick and it extends out. So you just hold down and buy yourself 10 more bricks and you're up there. So notice how we do a distribution system in this uh, cinder beds here. And the water gets down here so it gets pumped up and then you can regulate turn this up or down where you need to go to regulate the water down the center bed all the center beds are double tray there's a one inch space in between here we use small pieces of round pipe oh about that long and put them there 20 pieces hold it up so the center beds are live when the water fills up in here, it comes up to there, we would put a net sack in there with the worm castings or composting. Uh, that's a sack laying over there on the ground, you see there. It would go on the inside here. When it comes up, it flushes. The half inch tube is the air brake, and it's set to, uh, to break when thing gets to the lower section. Now this is unique, and the siphon does not free flow. The siphon is contained. It goes into a T-fitting on the bottom. Then it comes down here and dumps out here here and here, and very unique system is that the float beds have a common drain. You see coming from one end all the way back, and it goes back into the fish tank at the bottom of the fish tank. Water seeking its own level, it all flows back home. So that's it folks, in a nutshell. Of course the air pump we like to show off here. We've been running leaves through it earlier today and that showing off four inch leaves get pumped right up through this. This is not glued together, so you got a few little drips here. It's just for the dog showing off there how fresh and clean the water is. That's what he wants to drink. But uh, it's a very clever little system. And uh, with 180 gallons, certainly enough capacity for the average homeowner. So this is set up, be able to take a minimum of 20 trays on here with no problem at all. Uh, would not be pushing it. Okay, dokie.